Yeah, don't roast me for wearing another institution's sweatshirt when the title of this video is milking the Brown University name. Like, I don't wanna hear it. This sweater is so freaking comfy. And until the Brown University bookstore comes out with comfier sweaters, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't discriminate. Anyways. If you keep this up, then I'll let you in. Cause you have a way with me like no one else. Yeah, you almost make me fall in love. Yeah, you. Alexa. Alexa. Stop. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. Ew, I just spit like massive. That was disgusting. Morning everyone, it is now 7.50 and this is a ritual I do every morning after my workout Gratitude journaling just five things anything that I'm grateful for every day and it's been three months that I've been doing this straight I can honestly genuinely say that it has dramatically increased the quality of my life Breakfast time, my favorite part of the mother freaking day. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. You with my eyes still closed, feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden. compliments to the chef <sighs> that was so good tuesdays are very special for me because they are the days that i meet with my therapist if you know me you know that i am such an advocate and proponent to get therapy the level of self-awareness that you can unlock is unlike any reflection that you'll do with your best friends or with your mom it does not compare and so that leads me to thanking today's sponsor which is better Help. If you've been around for a while, you know that BetterHelp and I go way back. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It is not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. BetterHelp assesses your needs and then matches you with your own professional licensed therapist and you can start communicating with them within 48 hours. Super, super freaking quick. Their network boasts over 20,000 therapists available worldwide and these therapists are accessible at any time via message and you can also schedule video calls with them, which means that you skip the line and you avoid those awkward waiting rooms that you would in a traditional physical appointment. It's also more affordable than traditional therapy and they offer financial aid for anybody who needs it. They also are super, super flexible about switching counselors because they want you to find your OTP, your one true pairing, your perfect counselor match. And so if you're interested, make sure to go to betterhelp.com slash Katie. That's better betterhelp.com slash KT to join over the 1 million other people taking charge of their mental health. So with that being said, I have two minutes. I'm doing all right. It has been a good start. I... Let's get 
on the floor and a person no and just finished therapy i cried i wasn't expecting to cry right now i'm very very conflicted on what i want to do post grad my entire life i've followed the perfect track record and expectations for what you're supposed to do at any given point of your life so like work hard in high school get into a good college grind in college get good internships get good jobs then the pandemic happened then you guys happened i discuss that today about what i want my life to truly look like reckoning with those questions in the face of graduation and in the face of this growing business it, it's just really mind-boggling because my whole life i've just done what i was told i got emotional i made her emotional too like it was a really productive conversation and i was originally gonna like immediately after therapy start grinding on my homework but i thought i would share that moment i had because i never ever want to portray this lifestyle where i'm just go 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 do all my things on my to-do list get it done wake up and grind rising right every freaking day no i want to portray being mindful about every action you take because it does change your trajectory i have a few assignments that i want to crank out before i go to class so we're gonna go grind out one of my favorite study spots on campus transition if you keep this up then i'll let you in cause you dance class number one modern dance we did floor work and freestyles and in my time at a break i eat a wire bar if i don't i die during ballet so we have some friends we have some friends do you want to say hi <laughs> hello what are y'all's names chloe i'm chan yeah <laughs> have a good day and what's your name? Dion. Dion. You made my day. Thank you for saying hi. Ballet class, it was so freaking hot, I don't even know why. Ballet class ends at 420. I have a CASA event at 430. It's called the Big Sib Lil Sib Adoption Event, where CASA pairs underclassmen with upperclassmen to foster friendships between the classes. So that is what we are headed to now. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Bitch, you thought. Alright, so I'll take these followers. I love talking to freshmen and hearing their zest for life. But yeah, now I'm headed home. It has been such a long day, but I'm feeling so good. Today was a really freaking good day. Woo. Feels so good. Take my shoes off. I'm back home. 
And um, yeah, don't roast me for wearing another institution's sweatshirt when the title of this video is milking the Brown University name. Like, I don't wanna hear it. This sweater is so freaking comfy. And until the Brown University bookstore comes out with comfier sweaters, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't discriminate. Anyways, I just wanted to wind down with you guys. I wanted to share this new habit that I'm trying to incorporate and I haven't started. Who knows if this will actually become a thing. I've recently picked up this new podcast and it's called How to Be a Better Human. And the first episode I ever listened to was how to tap into your self-awareness and why it even matters. And one of the practices that the expert talked about was a nightly reflection of three simple questions. What went well today? What didn't go so well? and how can I be smarter slash better slash happier tomorrow? I figured I'd verbally share it. What went well today? I really enjoyed having good conversations today with strangers, people I don't know who normally I have no interest in speaking to strangers. I just had a lot of good human interaction and I'm reminded of how beautiful humans can be. What didn't go so well today? Minor inconveniences happened. Like somebody walked in on me while I was peeing in the bathroom. I'm so bad at remembering to lock the door. It's totally my fault. Bruh. And then how can I be smarter, better, and happier tomorrow? Asking other people questions and just learning more about other people's lives because I do forget that I'm surrounded by such an amazing community and every human is truly worth getting to know. I will check back in with you guys in like a few months and see if this is a habit that sticks. With that being said, it is 9.30, but I do need to catch up on sleep. And so I feel like I might just go to bed bad like